Of course, nobody here went to anything uh, like these schools. Matter of fact, I don't know anybody <laughs> who went to these schools. Wait, we do know somebody who went to Georgetown. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Mo Mo Kelly. Kelly. Kelly is a Georgetown. Yeah, Kelly. he did. That's right, he was on a school tour and everybody thought he was a student. Okay, let's Look, we all know why he got into Georgia. No, Joey Mo was just very, very smart. Yeah, that's why he no, got he's into uh, Georgetown. Yeah, I mean, Georgetown is a good school. I'll grant you that. But it's not a Yale. You know, it's not an MIT. It's close. Uh, uh, you know, when you talk about it, it's like, uh, it, it's almost kind of sort of uh, up uh, the food chain. I mean, certainly, you know, far, far uh, in but, of what we have. Yes, I was going to say, Georgetown ranking compared to uh, Cal State Northridge, Bill? Also known as the Harvard of the West. Let's not I don't get think ourselves. it's known as that by anybody. <laughs> um, it rivals Chico State. No, please. no, no, it, it does not. <laughs> not even close. Chico State is the winner of this one. Let's go ahead and take a break. Uh, we'll come back and finish up Handle on the News. Let's check in with Jennifer. Some voting rights groups in Georgia are vowing to skip the president's speech today. They say he's coming to the state without a plan for new laws. Parents are on alert as child COVID cases have set a new record. Last week, 580,000 kids tested positive. That is nearly triple the number from just before Christmas. And plans are underway to celebrate the Georgia Bulldogs with a parade Saturday. As we mentioned, the college football team scored their first national championship last night in 41 years. We're looking at your job on the 60 with DKFI in the sky next. When Bill and I needed new windows over 20 years ago, we picked a company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. So we saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. The best thing about working for American Vision Windows, and with customers specifically, is having their dreams come true. And we try to accomplish the best job we can to make them happy. It was a great experience. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I've been in the construction trade for 35 years. The level of quality of products that they use for their prep work was top notch. American Vision Windows continues to revolutionize the home improvement industry one customer at a time while changing the lives of our employees for the better. It's so simple. Happy employees, happy customers. Zero percent interest, zero payments until 2023. Call 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908 or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. On approved credit, not all applicants will qualify. Cannot be combined with any other offers. New customers only. Restrictions apply. Call or see website for details. Offer expires on 31122. CSLB number 778326. Looking to save money this year? Look at Allstate. You can get the protection you need at the low rate you want. With Allstate, you can lower your rates, not your expectations. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. From the HMS Capital Weather Center, sunny and windy with highs from the low 70s to the low 80s. This report is brought to you by Allstate. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. How about the 60? You betcha. We're in pretty good shape here. Again, a good drive uh, coming out of Ontario here, West 60. Now, we came out to the 71 area. There was a call for a possible problem or a hazard or something westbound around uh, Phillips Ranch, right around the 71. But I'm very happy to tell you everybody's moving. All lanes open and it's okay. Now, the uh, North 71, that's getting kind of busy. It always is uh, coming up from the 60 up towards the 10 and the Kellogg Interchange. If you continue, that, that one transition that goes kind of from the North 71 to the North 57 up to the 210, I'm sure you know what I mean. There is a rig right at the end of that transition where you start merging into the right lane. Flash was on, so just be careful going through. Uh, south outside looks good. We're about to pick up the West 210, so more on that busy freeway. Coming up, don't go away. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Bach, AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. The new Staples Connect will change the way you think about Staples. Explore the world of possible with new small business services and innovative tools to work and learn from anywhere. Now open at 5665 West Wilshire, one block east of the La Brea Tar Pit. Learn more at staplesconnect.com slash LA. Sure, Jones, you can come over to my place to watch the playoffs. I have like hundreds of TVs and a 30-foot video wall. My place being Morongo, that is. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morongo. Number five. Yeah, hundreds of TVs and a 30-foot video wall and sideline with the Wahlburgers. You're not dreaming. It's Morongo. Number four. Cozy gift giveaway. Get a six-piece Martex towel set when you earn 500 points on your reward card. The 17th or 18th. Three. Resolve to relax. 
couple of massages at Sage Spa are specially priced this month. And the number two. 98 Degrees, live January 28th. Get your tickets now. And the number one reason. Swipe and win. Get up to $100 cash or free slot play when you earn 500 points on the rewards card. Wednesday to Thursday. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times. Being a real estate agent isn't about listing houses. It's about connecting to people. I need to find new buyers every day. So I promote my listings using radio commercials from iHeartAdBuilder.com. Now every time I have an open house, it's a full house. A custom radio ad from iHeartAdBuilder is the fast, affordable way to drive customers to your business. Put the power of radio to work for you. Get started now at iHeartAdBuilder.com. We've weathered this pandemic by doing our part to protect each other. So let's stick to what's proven to keep us safer from COVID-19 and its variants, like masking up in public indoor settings, getting tested before and after traveling and gathering, and staying home if you feel sick. Let's keep our immunity strong. Visit myturn.ca.gov or call 833-422-4255 to find a vaccine or booster near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. By now, you've heard the news. Boosters for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster and don't forget to get your flu shot too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. KFI AM 640. I heart radio station. 24 hour news. More stimulating talk. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard. I wish I had a better voice to say some better words. We're back everybody. Bill Handel here. It is a uh, Tuesday morning, January 11th, as we finish Handle on the News with Jennifer and Wayne and me. Well, a man was shot and killed by cops in San Bernardino yesterday after he charged at them with a knife in the parking lot of the Bass Pro Shops in Rancho Cucamonga. So apparently they were trying to serve a warrant on him, and you see the guy jump out of the car in a video and rush toward deputies with a knife. And they're yelling less lethal numerous times, but it was once he jumped out of the car with the yeah. knife that they then ended up shooting him. Yeah, and of course there'll be controversy. Maybe not, maybe it's so blatant. And then of course the police are very careful when there is someone who has a weapon. Uh, so you know, in terms of approaching and getting rid of weapons, but they were right next to uh, the bass shop, so they can just grab a fishing hook and uh, just uh, Okay, let's just move on. Mm -hmm. uh, prosecutors say that if Ghislaine Maxwell is unsuccessful in getting her convictions overturned and remains convicted, they'll dismiss the two perjury counts that were part of her indictment. Why would they do that, Wayne? Well, because if she fails, then she's, gu she's guilty of extremely serious uh, sex trafficking of minors charges. The perjury counts in terms of a sentence become almost irrelevant mathematically. And they don't want to, at that point, have to gear up another trial, make the victims testify again, oh, just to prove what is compared to what she was convicted of, small potatoes. Okay, but you have said uh, that one of the reasons they do uh, keep on trying or going for those additional counts, now, for example, one count of, uh, instead of agreeing to one count of murder, for the most part, or trying on, on one count, just not dealing with the rest of it, uh, because of uh, the sentencing, the severity of sentencing. But for the fear that that is going to be overturned on appeal, they want to back it up and back it up and make sure they have all the cards. Uh, oh, if, if, if her convictions get overturned, they will try her on everything again. They're saying if she's still convicted of these serious charges, we're not going to bother having another trial for the for okay, the charge. So it has nothing to do with her. It no, 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 no. Okay. No. They're not, they're, it's not, they're not giving her a break. Let's put it that way. Here's a great story. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how the conversation went on in this patrol car, but there was a robbery. And the cops who were investigating the robbery called for backup. 
and there were these two officers, LAPD officers, Louis Lozano and Eric Mitchell, who apparently said, oh, screw it, according to the court filings and the recording. They were more interested in catching a Snorlax and finding a rare Tegetic. Those are Pokemon Go characters. So these guys blew off a call to help with a robbery investigation so that they could continue playing Pokemon Go. So they were fired for it, and a judge has decided, or the California Appellate Court actually, has decided to uphold their firing. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at the facts of this. Uh, a police captain or a sergeant shows up, sees them playing Pokemon, uh, and they get fired as a result. Uh, they deny it effectively, but they have video and audio of them doing exactly that in the patrol car, so they're obviously, they should be fired from just stupid, uh, as opposed to uh, underlying uh, policy violation. And then they're going to argue improper use of the video and audio. Private conversations cannot be used. When is a conversation by policemen or women on duty in a patrol car private? Well, it's not, and that's what the Superior Court said, and then they appealed that decision, and now they're pretty much, um, they're pretty much out of options to fight this firing. I guess they could try to go to the California Supreme Court with it. Yeah, but they're, they're, I don't know if they'll even take it. And it, at what point does it just become embarrassing? Mm -hmm. At what point do you just say, I don't really want my name associated to this story anymore. I'm just going to back away slowly. Maybe they still to this day don't think they did anything wrong. Yeah. They said, oh, screw it to a call, and that's not doing anything wrong? Uh, but that was a private conversation. Keep that in mind. Oh, screw it. We're not going to not. We're it. not supposed to know that they said that. Like, yeah. Their position is, you're not supposed to know we said that. Yeah. <laughs> Larry. I don't know if that makes it better. No. Oh, all right, everybody who loves Gruyere cheese. A federal judge has ruled that your Gruyere cheese does not have to come from the Gruyere region of Europe <laughs> to be sold under that name. There's a, a group of Swiss and French cheesemakers from that region who were suing, and this is the cases here in the United States, suing and saying if you make Gruyere cheese in Wisconsin and sell it as Gruyere cheese, that you're violating some kind of trademark or something. But uh, the federal judge said no. I've looked at all the regulations regulating cheese. There are specific federal regulations about using the term Gruyere, and none of them have anything to do with where the cheese was made. So you don't have any basis in the law to try to pull this stunt. Now, uh, the champagne people were able to prevail. You can't use the word champagne, although I'm sure everybody does it. Sparkling wines, etc., because champagne comes from the Saint Champagne region of France. And so that is a totally different decision. But again, it could be that federal law recognizes that champagne comes from champagne and doesn't recognize that Gruyere, uh, Gruyere or Gruyere cheese comes from any specific region. They don't care. Uh, also, uh, you know who gives a great deal on Gruyere cheese? It's an expensive cheese. Oh. Co? Yes! Okay. Yes! That's where you get your... Yes! I mean, couldn't you say that about anything they sell? Honestly. I mean, who gives a great deal on fill-in-the-blank with any product? Yeah, but this happens to be, uh, you know, Gruyere cheese. Also, they have a Gouda in big chunks. They're just phenomenal. And you know what? And the goat cheese. Mm. Oh, yeah, the goat cheese. I mean, you talk about uh, the goat cheese and its price. Goat cheese is a fortune. This yeah. is like a, a quarter of the price. And uh, twice as much. Yeah, it's phenomenal. You guys should save this discussion for tomorrow when it's Curse and Way Wednesday here on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're done, guys. Right. You don't want to do the pig dog really fast. Oh, yeah, let's, really do, yeah let's do the pig heart really fast. So there's yeah. a guy who was not eligible for a regular heart transplant or a human heart transplant. So doctors in Maryland have been raising this pig specifically for its heart to be put into a transplant patient. And it has been, it has happened now. So David Bennett, this 57 year old guy, now has a full on pig heart beating in him. And I think it's been in there three days now and it has not been rejected by the body. Well, three days, I mean, it takes, uh, I mean, you can have immediate rejection, but sometimes it takes a little while. 
for the rejection to take place. There was no other choice. This guy was on death's door. Yeah. So they think they cracked the code on that because they gene edited this animal. Yeah. So that the heart, it, the organs don't have a particular sugar in them that is why a human body will reject yeah. it so fast. They think they've been able to edit that out of the DNA of this particular pig. Yeah, also keep in mind uh, that pigs hearts specifically uh, are as close to human hearts as anybody, uh, as any, any animal out there. That's why you get pig valves, because uh, they mimic uh, human valves, and this is why people are stuck with pig valves. And I've had a couple of them just for fun. And didn't you say that it took three pigs? Yes. That or three yes. pigs to get the one that right. It's three so full pigs. If they're able to genetically create these animals, then, 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 then you mean, don't have to. Amazing. Then you can just need one pig, and you know where you get the best price for pork, don't you? <laughs> Costco. That's correct. <laughs> Coming back, uh, what's going to happen with California's multi-billion-dollar? Surplus. Well, the governor has some ideas, and he's the one that proposes the budget. Keep that in mind. Cover that when we come back. KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Not just stimulating talk, it's more. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Morning a lot. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. A procession has taken the body of an LAPD officer killed in an armed robbery attempt from South LA to the LA County Coroner's Office. The officer was off duty when he confronted three men about 9 30 last night in the Florence Graham neighborhood of South LA. The cop and the men argued, and then the cop was shot. The LA County Sheriff's Department says they recovered two handguns from the scene. The three men then drove away in a black pickup truck. Tens of thousands of L.A. school district students head back to classes today. School officials say infection control measures on campuses are effective against COVID-19. The district requires all students and staff be tested for COVID before going back to in-person activities. More than 414,000 tests have been administered as of Sunday. 62,000 positive cases have been detected. L.A. County health officials say a new take-home COVID-19 test will help people who have been unable to get a regular appointment for testing. Officials say the new program will make an additional 10,000 tests available in L.A. County. People will be able to pick up the test at one of 13 sites, administer the test at home, and drop it off at one of many locations. Results for both the flu and COVID-19 should be ready in 24 to 48 hours. The family of a former Riverside County employee is suing the county over claims that it didn't protect the man from COVID-19. The lawsuit states that Michael Haywood was denied the ability to largely work from home in December of 2020. His lawyer says contact tracers confirmed that he got COVID-19 at work, which he died of in February of last year. His family's attorney, James D. Simone, says he was a long dedicated employee of the county. He's also a, a grandfather of 11 grandchildren. And really was the backbone and the provider for this family. Dee Simone says Haywood was diabetic and a two-time cancer survivor. Blake Crowley, KFI News. The convicted murderer whose life was the subject of the HBO documentary series The Jinx has died in prison. Prison officials say Robert Durst died of natural causes yesterday after a long illness. The real estate heir was serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole for murder. Durst was 78. An LAPD officer who helped pull a pilot out of a plane that crashed onto some railroad tracks in Pacoima says he didn't think they'd be able to save the pilot. Robert Schrock says they'd requested Metro to stop all trains in the area near San Fernando Road in Osborne, but when he heard the bells and saw the cross arms go down, he realized one of the trains didn't get the message. Well, we pretty much just grabbed a body part, grabbed onto him, and we just had to remove him from the plane and drag him as far away as we could. The watch body cam shows a chaotic rescue Sunday afternoon. He says the time between them pulling out the pilot and the train crashing into the plane was five seconds. Steve Gregory, King of I News. President Biden is expected to make a speech in Georgia and call for a change in the Senate filibuster rules to allow passage of voting rights legislation. But some civil rights activists aren't convinced. They say they are more interested in action than speeches and will not attend the president's speech. And doctors in Maryland, as we were talking about, have transplanted a pig's heart into a man for the first time. Dave Bennett was in surgery for nine hours at the University of Maryland Medical Center. He received his new heart from a one-year-old 240-pound pig that was bred specifically for organ donation. 
We're checking your drive on the 210. Oh, this is a science fiction film there somewhere. Raising things to uh, harvest pots. All right, a good drive. Good morning. Thanks for taking us along for the drive here. The westbound 210 now coming through San Dimas. Pretty good shape. Now, there is a right shoulder problem uh, westbound at Azusa, right by that giant sign that says Azusa, so you'll see it. And then after that, past the 605 at Buena Vista, a little right shoulder problem there. But otherwise, pretty good drive, really, for this time in the morning, all the way into Pasadena. Now, we just picked up the uh, Arroyo Seco Parkway coming out of South Pass. We're coming up over Avenue 43 right now, and everybody's just scooting right along. We're going to go all the way down uh, towards the Santa Monica Freeway. We'll check it out for you. 605, we looked at it a little bit earlier. Still in pretty good shape coming away from the 210, down towards the 5, getting a little slow. Northbound, looking good. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. It was a morbid Monday for the NFL as coaches from several teams were fired as the season ended. The Chicago Bears got rid of Matt Nagy as well as GM Ryan Pace. Mike Zimmer was let go as head coach by the Vikings along with their GM Rick Spielman. And the Dolphins axed Brian Flores. Flores went 24-25 and 25 over three years as head coach there. There's NBA action tonight. The Clippers get the Denver Nuggets at 7.30 live on AM570 LA Sports. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Pass call mortgage to the DBA of Impact Mortgage Corp. NMLS ID 128231. Not all applicants will qualify. Equal housing lender. Licensed by California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Residential Mortgage Lending Act license number 4131083. Not licensed in all states, including New York. Call 855-657-9910 for licensing terms and restrictions. Or visit cashcallmortgage.com. This new year, what are your financial goals? Home improvement? Paying off bills? That dream vacation? Put cash call mortgage on top of your New Year's to-do list while mortgage interest rates are low. Because along with the New Year is the talk of rising interest rates. A cash call mortgage refi could help make 2022 a whole lot happier. You could reduce your current interest rate and start saving money with a lower monthly payment. And with a cash out refi, you may even make it a win-win with the cash you need now and a lower rate and monthly payment. Make sure your New Year financial dreams come true with cash call mortgage. For a free quote to see if you qualify, go to cashcallmortgage.com or call now. Call 800-633-0861. That's 800-633-0861. 800-633-0861. Open the door to Aaron Mayhew's Cabinet of Curiosity, a podcast that offers a rare glimpse into some of the most amazing and unbelievable stories taken straight from the pages of history. What you hear may astound you and disturb you. Tune in twice a week for bite-sized storytelling experiences that take listeners on a guided tour of the unbelievable, the unsettling, and the bizarre. Listen to Aaron Mayhew's Cabinet of Curiosities on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Second year KFI financial report, the Dow is down 198, S&P down 12, NASDAQ up 18, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.65. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny and windy with a wind advisory in effect till 2 this afternoon, and a high surf advisory in effect till 9 tonight. Highs will be in the low to mid-70s at the beaches to the low 80s inland. Right now it's 49 in Seal Beach, 50 in Pasadena, 65 in Malibu. We leave local, live from the KFI 3000 Newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. It is a Tuesday morning, January 11. Robert Durst, uh, the convicted murderer, waiting trial for uh, the murder of uh, his wife after being convicted of the murder of his girlfriend. Uh, he died uh, yesterday. Uh, Betty White, we just found out, had a stroke six days before her death. And it looks like uh, Bob Saget, all the indications uh, in the death of Bob Saget uh, were that it was a heart attack. And it was, uh, that's it. As far as Betty White uh, dying just before her 100th birthday, all you can say about that, a, a life well lived. And even though you hate to lose her, uh, 99 years old. Bob Saget at 65? Ugh, that is, that's a much tougher one. Uh, the uh, state of California has a surplus. Oh boy, does it have a surplus. Uh, I think it's probably the biggest sur uh, surplus in uh, the history of uh, the state. Uh, projected at more than $45 billion. $45 billion in surplus, more than the state of California spends. 
So now, I mean, can you imagine the governor of the legislature has $45 billion to screw around with? That's like you getting paid and you spending your money on necessities and you have an extra $45 billion in the bank. That's a good thing. Now, of course, the politics enter into this thing like crazy. It's what the governor what does want to do and what the governor does not want to do. Uh, so keep in mind a couple of things about California. First of all, like any other a, a chief executive, of, uh, certainly the president, the governors, uh, they produce the budget and send it over to the legislature. And the legislature passes whatever it wants parts of it, not parts of it, and then it goes back to the governor for signature. But in the case of uh, the uh, president, U.S. president, uh, it's take it or leave it. Either he signs it, or he says no and vetoes it. And that's it. With the governor of California, he has a line item veto. The legislator comes back with a budget that's been accepted by them, and they change the, the governor's budget. But he goes through line by line. Nope. Not that one. No thank you. Which gives uh, the governor enormous power. So, what is, uh, he yesterday uh, talked about this. He unveiled his uh, same proposal for 2022-23. Uh, $286 billion the state is going to spend, uh, which is a bigger budget than most countries out there, except for the big ones. California has the fifth largest economy on the planet. If it were its own country, it would be right up uh, within the top ten. I mean, they, as a juggernaut, California has such an economic interest. So, uh, Governor has a little bit of a problem. So he has all these plans on spending the money on various programs. Uh, pri uh, pri uh, prioritizing, sorry about that, more money for COVID, climate change, homelessness, uh, rising cost of living, uh, it's everything that is uh, on his wish list, or a lot of it's on his wish list. Some yes, some no, and there's the political fight where you spend the money. Now, there's one provision in California law called the GAN Act, uh, and yeah, this happened, I think, uh, once before, when we were in a huge surplus. And that is, according to the GAN Act, under certain circumstances, the state has to return uh, uh, money uh, to the taxpayer. I mean, are you ready for that? You may actually get some money back. Right? Because they can rearrange the budget, they can play games. It's a lot like uh, the legislature can't raise taxes without two-thirds of the legislative majority in the state of California. So, hey, let's not call it a tax. Let's call it a fee. How's that one? Uh, that's legal, so you a fee. Uh, take a look at your property tax uh, someday, your uh, property statement. Uh, it has fees in there that...